As a little girl, I began taking dance classes when I was five years old. I loved moving to the music and dressing up for performances. The older I got, the more my passion for dance grew. In college, I continued taking dance classes and was a part of the Susquehanna University dance team. Deciding to go abroad meant I wouldn't be able to participate in these activities on campus for a year. As I left home and traveled to Valparaiso, Chile, I was nervous I wouldn't be able to stay connected with this large passion of mine. To my surprise, when I arrived at orientation, I found out we would be taking dance classes each night as a way to learn about the culture and connect with it. Each night, my fellow exchange students and I learned the cha-cha, bachata, merengue, salsa, and other Latin American dances. My heart was happy. However, after orientation ended, it became harder for me to find a dance outlet within the academic setting. One day, I attended a conversation exchange and was randomly paired with a Chilean girl named Valentina. After talking for a while and getting to know each other, we discovered our shared love of dancing. Valentina told me about an upcoming show she would be performing in and invited me to come watch. I quickly agreed to come, and from there, an incredible friendship was formed. The following week, I watched Valentina dance at the local park for International Dance Week. I met her teacher, Todi, and became engaged in the local dance scene. After the show, Todi invited me to take dance classes with Valentina at their studio. From that point on, I attended weekly dance classes with local Chilean students doing what I loved. Walking into the studio for the first class made me feel right at home, even in another country, halfway around the world. Despite the language barrier between the locals and I, dancing with them was never a problem. Moving to the music allowed us all to communicate and express ourselves without words. Dance transcended the language barrier. Sharing in this art also brought me closer to my host community. I learned that dance does play a part in Chilean culture and was able to participate in this aspect of it. Taking classes with Valentina also allowed our friendship to grow because we shared in doing what we love. We even put on a special performance together at the end of my program for the farewell dinner. Ultimately, dancing while I was abroad in Chile let me find familiar in an unfamiliar context. Studying abroad didn't mean that I had to leave behind a passion of mine, but rather use it as a way to better immerse myself in the community. I learned that dance is a universal language that can be used to express and communicate no matter where we are in the world. Dance let me connect with the community in ways I may not have otherwise been able to and form strong friendships. And that is a beautiful thing that I will carry with me forever.